What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword Shield, hopping onto that rank ladder for Series 8. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves another amazing team to show off for you guys today. Today, we got ourselves a Weakness Policy Necrozma Trick Room team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. We actually almost done all the restricted mods. We just got to show off Kieran Black, Necrozma in Lunala form, and I think like maybe one more. I think like maybe one or two more. We are so close, but cannot wait to be finishing up with all these so then I can just start using a bunch of different teams that... I already use like I can use another Exernius team another Yvelta team with different meta Pokemon in there or different Pokemon in general but rocking out on this team we're getting started in that top left corner we got Lapras with that shell armor and light clay so we can set up the G Max resonance and get that Aurora Bell rolling we got Hydro Pump Freeze Drive both for stab moves Paris Song alongside with Protect right next to him is the heart and soul of this team we got Necrozma with that Prism Armor for his ability and Weakness Policy Weakness Policy and Prism Armor are going to pair up so well because what that ability allows us to do is to take 25% less damage from super effective attacks. So it's basically like a little multi-scale, but for every single hit that is super effective. So it's going to work well with the weakest policy. Help us proc it and roll from there. It's Psychic and Steel type with Sun Seal Strike as its stab, Steel Move, Earthquake, Sword Stance Setup, and Trick Room. Beyond my face cam, we got Ferrothorn, big bulky defensive Pokemon, Grass and Steel type with Body Press, Iron Defense, Leech Seed, and Protect. We can potentially set up Leech Seeds and Iron Defenses and stay in the match forever if we're going up against physical attackers, of course. We also have the Iron Barbs and Leftovers to get some more HP back. Right next to him, we got Togekiss with the Super Luck and Babiri Berry. We got Dazzling Gleam, Follow Me, Yawn, and Protect. It's a support Togekiss over here, so we can set up Trick Room with it, or we can put, up Pokemon, or we can put Pokemon to sleep with it. Bottom left corner, we got Incineroar, another great support mod with the Intimidate and the Figgy Berry. Normal moveset for that thing as well with the Fake Out, Flutter Blitz, Dark Slayer, and Parting Shot. And then in the final spot, we have ourselves a Focus Ash Tyranitar with Sandstream to control weather with Rock Slide, Lash Out, Super Power, and Taunt. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this Necrozma team. First battle coming at you guys going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex team. So this one's going to be a little tough, but I feel like I haven't played a Trick Room team in a little bit. I don't know why. It just feels like it's been a good bit since I played a Trick Room team. I want to actually check out the speeds. We got 84, 40, 101. So Tok is probably our fastest. 91. Oh, 124. T-Tars are fastest, but definitely Trick Room. Definitely Trick Room all the way. We're going to get rolling out here with Necrozma and try to set up that Trick Room and roll from there. He might lead that Sin Race, which could be scary. I could go in with Intimidate. I definitely want to bring... Tokus has a lead to try to get that trick room set up. Bring my Intimidate Mon, considering he has Garchomp, Calyrex. They're all physical besides, uh, besides what's it called? Regilecki. Then in the final spot, who do I want here? Who does Jeans want? I could bring Lapras. Lapras isn't too bad here. I think I am going to bring Lapras in the back end. The only person who really poses such a big threat is going to be the Cartana and, uh, and the Regilecki. Hmm. I'm deciding between Lapras or maybe Tyranitar. Tyranitar, we can get that Sandstorm rolling, but then he might have Sandvale. Hmm. Who does Jeans want to go with? I really don't know. I really don't know. I'm thinking Lapras. I'm thinking Lapras is going to take the cake here. We have that Ice. Yeah, I'm with it. And plus, he's a special attacker because he does have an Intimidate Mon. The only thing that stinks now with this Necrozma set is normally Solgaleo cannot get the attack drop because of its ability. But now with this ability, an Intimidate will work right on it, which is kind of tough. So hopefully he doesn't lead it. Hopefully I can get this trick room rolling and we can get after it. But do not lead Lando. That'd be a big problem for your boy. I think we're going to struggle with this first battle considering, you know, Calyrex seems really, really strong. He's going to go in with, uh, da -da -da. bruh. What do you mean? He's going to lead Lando and, uh, Ledge Lucky, which is fine, I guess. Necrozma is looking amazing. He does look really, really cool. He's going to get that attack drop on me. Um, hmm. What can I do here? I could drop follow me. I could actually... Don't I have protect on it? And I could drop an EQ. Which wouldn't be bad. I could go for a Sun Steel Spike. Sun Steel Strike, which is dope. Oh, this will hit through abilities, which is pretty dope. I could drop an EQ. Which I might just drop an EQ to get rid of this Regilecki. Or do big damage on. I can go here, and I could protect... Or I can just yawn. Actually, why don't we protect this turn and set up a trick room? That would be the play. Set up the trick room and just protect. Because I feel like he's going to come after me. I really do feel like a T-Bolt or a Volt Switch, something along those lines, is going to happen. So I'd rather protect and try to get off this trick room so then we can have first turn priority. Get rid of this Regilecki. Here comes the Thunderbolt. Beautiful block by me. 
And then what's he gonna go in with him? He's gonna go in with an EQ there. Okay, that's totally fine. And will that proc my policy? Oh, does this thing have air balloon or something? It might have air balloon, but Prism Armor is gonna uh, actually help us out there. Proc our weakness policy. We can definitely take out Regilecki here, no problem. No problem, we can take out Regilecki. But why did that EQ hit that uh, Regilecki? Is he air balloon? Did I did I miss it? Why why did that thing not get hit by it? I think that thing might be air balloon. Did I not did I thank god I didn't go into an EQ. But I'll go into a Sunsteel Spike here. And I could yawn, I could follow me. I think I'm just, just gonna dazzle and gleam. Try to do some damage on these Pokemon. Let's see what happens. He's probably gonna go for another T bolt. Which is fine by me. If I can take out both these mons here, I can still have my Lapras in the back for a Dynamax. And come out with my uh with my Incineroar, who he has definitely two physical attackers in the back, because his only special attacker is going to be Bench Lucky. I'm with it. I'm liking this. I could also Dynamax. That is play, but I, I don't think Dynamax is going gonna, is gonna to be the play. Considering we're at like 80-some HP, we're already below half health. I'd rather just take out this, uh, whatever Pokemon he has on this left slot. Going to be Lando. I'd rather just take it out with Sunsteel Spike. And, yo, look at this move, baby. Oh, yes, sir. Yo, that's looking gorgeous. Looks like Moongeist Beam. That's exactly what it looks like. And of course, we don't take out, but at least we Gleam. Gleam will come over here, pick up the KO for us. Thank you very much. And we're going to be able to bring down that Regilecki to a decent amount of health here as well. Old Switch going to come through here. That's totally fine. Going to do some damage there. And so I can go for Follow Me. I am plus one here. Or I can go for a Yawn. Ooh. Ooh, that's spicy. I think I'm going to Yawn. I think I am going to Yawn. And save my Dynamax for my Lapras. Because then I can set up the Roar Bell. We do have Trick Room. But yeah, let's yawn here and try to get off another sun, sun steel strike. Or an EQ. Depends what happens. He's going to go in the Garchomp. So Intimidate's going to be huge for that. And my and my Lapras is going to be nice for that too. So who do I yawn on? Who's going to pose a bigger threat? Mm, I think we yawn on to the, uh, the Kartana. I think we yawn on the Kartana. Get a sun steel strike over there. Or I can go for a Gleam. Gleam's not bad. But I'd rather yawn. I would rather yawn here. This Kartana is probably going to pick up the KO onto the Togekiss. And pick up a Beast Boost. So I'd rather yawn on that thing. Have it asleep. Come in with my Incineroar. And my Lapras. And roll from there. Actually, if he does KO my Togekiss this turn. Then I'm going to go in with my Lapras. Just try to get as many Trick Room turns as I can possibly get out. This is plus one stab. Let's see how much damage we're going to do on this thing. Doing a decent amount onto it. Rough Skin's going to come out here. Do a little bit of damage to my Necrozma. And there goes my... Oh, this thing's Rocky Helmet, too. Yon comes out here. Don't put that boy to sleep for later usage. That's going to be good. And EQ's going to come out here, take out my Necrozma. And it's not... He's going to pick up the double kill, actually. Which, dude, I'm totally fine with that. I'm totally fine with him picking up the double kill. So I should still have two turns left, right? In a trick room. Here goes my Babiri Berry. I think we're still dead here. Even with the Babiri Berry. My strike should be able to take us out. Yeah. All right, so this thing's going to be beast boosted. We're going to be able to get out my uh, Incineroar and my uh, Lapras. I can drop a G-Max Resonance over on the Garchomp. Flare Blitz over on the left side. And we also get an Intimidate. So we're going to neglect that beast boost and make that Garchomp last one. Which is just lovely. We should still have two more turns in Trick Room. A good call for me to go into this Lapras. The only thing I'm worried about is going to be that Regilecki. And I think we should be able to eat up a, uh, a Max Light. Right? Max Lightning, we should be able to eat up just five. Plus, we already did some damage over on that wrench, like, slot, which I... Wait, did we? We did a Dazzling Gleam, which, like, half health it, which is good. Uh, let's check our Trick Room turns. Should be two, right? We do. Lovely little two turns left. Um, definitely Flare Blitz, or I can just fake you out. Actually, I'd rather just Flare Blitz drop this thing. i honestly rather just Flare Blitz right here, right now. And then fight this thing. Or Dynamax and go into a Resonance. Just so we get off this reward bell to help us out throughout the rest of this battle. So, I think we should be fine here. Because Flare Blitz would obviously take out the the Kartana, no problem. We're both slower than both these guys. And we're both slower than the next one. So if we can get off one more turn in the next, or up against the, the final two Pokemon that already have taken damage, we should be fine. We should be fine here. Alright, make a move, my dude. Make a move. He's going to protect. He's going to protect Garchomp. Oh, I like that. I like that. Don't protect the Kartana. He's going to protect the Kartana. So he's going to go for double protect. That's totally fine. So Garchomp should still go down here. This is super effective through the protect. We should be able to pick up the KO here. 
Yes, sir. Okay, so KO still takes out the Garchomp. That's huge. Um, I'm kind of fine with that turn. Again, we have one more Trick Room turn. I'm going to be able to take out Kartana next turn with the Flare Blitz. And I'm going to be able to deal big damage on whatever Pokemon he wants to throw out. Which he's probably going to protect. He's probably going to throw out the Lando. Flare Blitz is going to come out. It's going to be a block. A minus one Flare Blitz. Oh, we don't have to worry about Kartana. We don't even have to worry about it. I forgot I yawned it a while ago. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. So he's going to throw out Regilecki. Um, I think I have to get after it right now. I think I totally fire what's on to you. And I drop a Resonance again. Or do I Geyser? I think Geyser. Geyser is going to hit a little bit harder. But I'm going to go for the Geyser over on the Regilecki. Geyser will hit a tad bit harder and the rain will get set. So he's going to Dynamax here. We still have one more turn tricking, so I'm guessing he's going to guard. I had to guess he's going to guard. Right? Go ahead, guard, my dude. If I had to guess, he's going to guard. But still, the card time is going to go down. Let's see what happens here. He's going to guard, yeah. Right, this one's going to be really, really close. Because Trick Room ends his turn now. I have one more turn left. I think a Geyser might be able to take this thing out. Here goes my Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz would take out you easily. And we're going to go to minus one once the Lando comes back out. And Lando's on like one HP. Lando is really, really low. Again, we have that Aurora Bell, so I feel like we can eat up whatever shot we have to take. Oh no, wait. We took out the Landorus? I thought he double swapped. No, he just bolt. Oh, okay. Never mind. This game's over. We got this one. Let's get after this, dude. Let's get after it. Yo, I thought... <laughs> yeah, all right, never mind. I thought he saw the Landorus. We should be able to have this one. Fine. We should be able to eat up a Max Layton. Are you going to go after him? Okay, that's fine. He should be able to eat up as well. That is lovely. He might have thought I'm weakness policy, so... Nah, we're light clade. We are light clade. And that's how we get it done. Rolling out strong in battle number one with the, uh... With the Trick Room team. Trick Room team thriving for you, boy. It's thriving real well. Our Figgy Berry's gonna pop. We're gonna get a little bit more HP. But I was worried about that lander is coming out all along. I really was, because I thought he was gonna come out here and then drop an EQ, take out my Incineroar, and then we would have turned into a 1v1 situation with Lapras versus Regilecki. But still, Roar Bell, I think we would have ate up the shot no matter what and won this game regardless. And we get a crit just rubbing his face. But I can see you guys like watching a video like Gino. He doesn't have a Landorus. You took it out already. What are you doing? <laughs> But it's all good. We still end up picking up that W in battle number one. Now we can hop to our second battle. Look to get a win streak rolling. Strong first battle to get this video started. We're hopping into our second battle now. Going up against a Comfy Lugia combo right here. Looking a little scared, not gonna lie, but hopefully I can set up Trick Room. Um, Comfy does have Trick Room alongside of it, so maybe he might try to counter me up with it. But we'll see. We'll go from there. I'm gonna lead the Necrozma. Get buzzing with Necrozma. Try to set up that Trick Room with the follow me Toad Kiss once again. And uh, not a lot of physical attackers. Not too many. I mean, Arcanine could be physical, but I see it more as a support mon on this team considering he has uh, Garchomp, Lugia, and Rotom Wash. Um, I don't think I'm going to bring Incineroar. I don't think I really need him. Uh, we don't need the weather control. Uh, do I want to bring Lapras? Yeah, I do want to bring Lapras. I think Lapras could be really, really good here. And uh, Necrozma kind of covers that uh, Comfy turn one, so that's not bad. And I could bring Ferrothorn. I, I think Ferrothorn would be pretty decent here. I'm going to bring Ferrothorn. Let's get him buzzing in here. Let's get my boy Ferrothorn out here. I absolutely love this Pokemon. I remember when, when I first started playing Sword Shield on my bouts, I started off with singles, and Ferrothorn was an absolute beast. I used to use him on like all my teams. Considering you can just set up bulky defensive boost, you can leech seed, and in solos, you can just protect and kind of pester out. You can roll substitute with him as well. He was just awesome. And what's called was amazing too, top spec. But again, singles gets very, very boring very quick, considering it's just one Pokemon just controlling the match the whole time. And there's no way around it sometimes. Like, most of the time, you're like, oh, he's protecting. I can't do anything this turn. He's protecting again. Can't do anything this turn. He's going to send up Bleachy. He's going to roll from there. Or he's going to talk to me and roll from there. But he has this combo rolling out here. I am going to set up the Trick Room easily. And then I am going to uh, actually follow me. Yeah, I do not want him taking out my Necrozma. So I am going to follow me this turn. He's going to Dynamax a little bit. And I don't think he's going to hit the Trick Room button. And if he... Uh, he's not. We'll, we'll be fine. We fine. I can take him out next turn with the Sunshield Spike and a Dazzling Gleam. Cause I don't see my boy going down here. I don't see my Toad Kiss going. Down. He's probably oh he's gonna proc policy, but I still see us doing just fine. Let's see what he goes for. Here comes to follow me, baby. 
Let's get it. Let's get after it. All right, goes the airstream. Uh, we should be able to eat that up. Oh, are you going for the trick room? Yo, you're going for the trick room. No way. No way you're reading this. Not a chance you're reading this. I mean, why would you be boosting speed, though? Now, he's going to go for a calm. Oh, he's going for a calm mind setup. Okay, so we got the trick room buzzing. Um, I'm going to Dynamax take out the comfy. Calm mind comfy? Whoa. What is this? Oh, yeah, I'm going to take out the comfy. I don't feel like dealing with it, man. I feel like dealing with a comfy. <laughs> you think I feel like dealing with a comfy? We're gonna go for a seal spike over onto the comfy, and then I am going to actually gleam. Or I can yawn. I could totally yawn. Yawn would be a solid play. I think I might yawn onto the Lugia slot. Yeah, let's do that. Let's yawn onto the Lugia slot. There's no terrain buzzing or anything. We should be fine here. And if it is Sash, we'll uh, we'll gleam next turn and take it out. But Dynamax and Necrozma, this is what I wanted to do with this battle. So now I didn't get it to do it in the last, but we did get to show off the prism pretty well in the last battle. We got to uh, set off the trick room, show off the prism armor, the weak to polish proc in, and that trick room basically won us the game. Here comes a draining kiss. That's totally fine. That's time. That's fine. We'll be able to go on here. And wow, like I'm, I'm kind of confused on the on the calm mind. I'm kind of confused on it. But we're gonna be able to take out copy. Okay, cool. No sash. This turn's gonna work out beautifully for us. Yon's gonna get off on the Lugia, and we're gonna get buzzing from there. We are gonna get buzzing, baby. Give me that yawn. Give me that. Hey, yo, go to bed. Go to bed, big bird. Get him out of here. Give him his night quill. He's gonna drop a hailstorm. Toe kiss, that's totally fine. You can go down. That's fine. Toe kiss did wonders. Followed me. Was able to get off our trick room. We still have a Necrozma full health with a weakness policy. And we got off a yawn on his Dynamax Mon. That's a beautiful turn, Jeans. Beautiful turn. And we took out his comfy. Beautiful. Beautiful. Went for that hailstorm, which... Mm, uh, who do I go into? We go into here. But I kind of want to go to you. Because if he's going to sleep, I can totally protect this turn and start seeding up. Do a lot here. Let me get out my boy Farah. Yes, sir. Look at my dude. I love this Pokemon. And he's going to get out Garchomp. Okay. Garchomp, baby. Um, In that case, so I... Get off another defense boost. I'm going to go after his guard chomp, and I think I'm just going to protect here. I could iron defense. We are going to go first. I couldn't see. What is this play? I could totally see. Because Lugia is going to go to sleep next turn. I mean, we are going to get a... I'm just going to start seeding up on the Lugia. I'm going to start setting on my Ferrothorn. I'm going to start setting on my Ferrothorn here. Because we are going to get a big defense boost here, which is going to help us out up against this thing get it so big old defense boost i can i was gonna defense boost with my uh marathon but i think we should be fine maybe i should have protected this turn but it really depends what he's going for earthquake's gonna come out here it's gonna do double damage to me Ooh. kind of scary but again we eat up all day we eat up all day there goes my prism armor my weakest policy is proc we're gonna be able to thrive out here we are gonna be able to thrive out here we're just gonna be setting up max lightning coming out oh my god yo, this is ggs this is ggs all day this is GG's, baby. Well, it's over with. We got Leftovers Leech Seed set up. Lugia's going to sleep. I'll take out the uh, the guard chop next turn. My weakest policy's proc. Dude, this team. This team's buzzing for us. Good call by me to get in Farah. Set up that seeds. Love is going to take uh, all of our damage, but still. Just, just, wait, ready? Here we go. We're getting buzzing. With this. Leftovers and seeds are coming out here. Look how much HP we get. I can protect any turn I want and control this battle. I'm not worried about the Lugia. He's going to sleep. I might just defense boost here. Just start bulking up, my dude. Later, Lugia. Go to bed. <laughs> Yo. This dude quit. Yo. Let's go. Let's go. Two videos in a row where we made someone quit. That is hilarious. Let's get it. Necrozma OP. Ferrothorn coming in clutch. We were controlling that match all the way. This battle is going to be the test for the team that we are using today. We're going up against a very, very strong Groudon Sun team alongside with Storm Drain, Gastrodon, Gyarados, Venusaur, Charizard, and Heatran. This one's going to be a tough one, but I think we got to get Trick Room buzzing once again. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't lead the Groudon. That would kind of be a little scary considering he's going to Precipice Blades. But maybe I can eat it up. Maybe I can eat it up. We are going to go into our, our boys right here. We're going to Necrozma, Togekiss, try to get that rolling. We didn't make that last person quit. That was awesome. That was awesome. We played that battle very, very well by getting out that Ferrothorn and that Necrozma Trick Room alongside with the uh, the Togekiss. 
But I do have to bring weather control here with my Tyranitar. And then in the final spot, I'm thinking we got to bring that Lapras. Then he has the Storm Drain, which is kind of scary. But I still think Lapras has to come in here. I still think Lapras has to come in here. Potentially if he doesn't bring in Storm Drain, which he, he might. He has a Gyarados too. Ooh, this one's looking so tough. This one's looking so tough. I kind of want to get my hands on this team though, because it has a lot of cool Pokemon that I really like, like Groudon and Gyarados. I really do like Gyarados. Gyarados is actually one of my favorite water types in my opinion. I do love that Pokemon. He's so dope. But like, who doesn't like Gyarados? He's so cool. He goes Groudon beans are... Bruh. Bruh. I might swap my Necrozma. Like, he's just gonna roll a Precipice Blades, man. I think I have to swap Necrozma here. Uh, Yawn the Groudon? Could be a turn. That could be a turn. Fight. Or not fight. Let's go Pokemon. Let's swap into Tyranitar. Change the weather up. Um, Yawn on the Groudon slot? Or Yawn on to Venusaur slot? A Yawn on the Groudon slot right here because he's posing a little bit bigger of a threat right now. I think Venusaur might Dynamax. Let's get our weather control. This one, I told you guys, this one's going to be tough. We might get a... We might get pummeled or we might put up a fight here. Let's see. Sandstorm's popping. Our weather. It's mine. Give it to me. Weather ball coming out here. It's going to change the ground or rock. It's going, okay, it's going after him. We should be able to eat that up all day. Yeah. Thank you very much. And it shows that this thing is orb. A fire. Oh, a fire punch coming out here. Over onto you. That's totally fine. It was getting after my Necrozma, man. Chill on my Necrozma. We're going to be able to drop this thing to sleep. Um... Do I double protect? I should double protect here. I think I, I think I yawn onto the Venusaur. I think I think we yawn onto the Venusaur. Um, I could lash out. I could totally lash out. Test for lower turn. I could taunt. I might taunt up on the Venusaur. Considering it might be going for sleep powders, but it might not. Considering it's rocking a uh, other ball. I don't know. I kind of just want to drop something on this thing. Lash out. I'm thinking just lashing out over onto the Venus for slot. Groudon is going to go to sleep. And just protecting you. And then I could swap next turn, which is fine. He's going to witch all the Groudon. That's totally fine. He's going to witch all the Groudon. He's going to be able to drop out a Heat Train. Okay. And he wants to get the weather back out here. Protect's coming out from you. And what is Venus for doing? Venus is going to go for slow drop. So big protect here. We got off some damage. I'm going to swap back out my T-Tar. And we're going to be able to lash out. So big damage onto you. Venus Sword takes the buffets. That's nice. So is my Tokus. Um, okay. Play here would be to swap. Oh, ooh. No, we're going to swap you out. Back into. Ooh, I could go Lapras here. No, because if he goes for that, uh. He goes for that, uh, grass move on me. I'm not going to like that one bit. And then I could just yawn. Back onto the Heatran slot. Let's see what the plan is. He's going to swap back. Well, I'm going to swap back. And I think he's going to swap as well. And is he going to swap? No, he's just going to go straight for Sludge Bomb. And take me out. Ooh. Ooh. And I think he's going to go for Steel Move over, over onto my Necrozma slot. Let's see what he does. He'll go for Flash Cannon. That's totally fine. So we just have the Fire Move uh, posing a threat onto me. Not very effective. Buffets are going to come out. Um, What is my play here? What is going to be my play? We're going to swap into Lapras, obviously. Uh, Do I die? I think I Dynamax Lapras here. I think Lapras is going to be the Dynamax mod. Hmm. Do I want to go for a Trick Room? I don't know what I want to do here. i go for an EQ. I could protect. I think it's going to be Flash Fire. Uh... Da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm gonna protect. I think that's gonna be play right now. This one's gonna be close. I don't think he's gonna Dynamax. I'm gonna protect. Just so that Grass Move doesn't come in here and do some big damage before he goes out. Here goes Sludge Bomb. Oh, what are you? He's Sludge Bombing a lot. You know, you're not rocking the Grass Move. Flamethrower's gonna come out here. That's gonna proc Policy, which is huge. We're gonna be able to eat that up as well with the Prism Armor. I do like that. Oh, you get a burn? What you mean? Oh my lord, dude, this guy gets a burn. So Lapras is definitely going to be our Dynamax mom. We'll Dynamax him next turn. Earthquake's going to come out here. This probably would have been able to pick up the double KO without the burn, right? Let's see how much damage we're doing. Okay, it still picks up double KO. That's huge. 
That is lovely. We're going to Dynamax Lapras next turn. Set off that resonance. He's got to bring out the drought. So we take weather control 100%. We take weather control 100%. Um, the real question is, I don't think I swap. I don't think I swap. I think I keep Necrozma in here. Let it take a hit. Let it go out. And I just change it. I could change it to water. But, oh, ooh, 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 Gastrodon. Oh, oh, that Pokemon's going to do me dirty, man. He gets out the drought. I'm going to be able to drop this resonance. Uh, I mean, I can't, like, I, I guess I'll go for a trick room, but yeah, I'd rather go for a Sunseal Strike I double up. We're all going to Dynamax, and we are going to get off that resonance, this resonance. And we got to double up in this crowd. We need this Aurora Bell up ASAP, man. We do have Freeze Drive. We do have Freeze Drive, which I just need to survive turns here. But with my Aurora Bell, I could potentially survive the turns and roll out from there. But Gastron's still very, very scary. He's going to be able to slap up on my Tyranitar. But no, I think not having a Trick Room here is actually good because Groudon is going to be the fastest. And Gastron is going to be the slowest. Let's just see what's rocking here. Let's see what's happening. Is he going to Dynamax Groudon? Or is he going to be Gastron? Probably gonna be Gastron. If I had to guess it. If I had to guess it. The Krosman's gonna go down here to Precipice Blades. And I wonder what Gastro's going for. Probably Max Quakes. Which is smart. Very, very smart. Max Quakes gonna come in here. Boost special defense. Precipice Blades gonna come out here. Miss my Necrozma. Who avoided that? Necrozma? Oh my lord, yo, Necrozma dodged it. That would have made up for his lucky burn with the flamethrower, but still. We're going to be able to get off of Resonance. This should take out the Groudon, I think. Super effective stab. It does not. Not even close. I overestimated that one. But still, we get off the uh, Resonance, which is going to help out my team tremendously. Um, we do not have Protect on my boy. We do not have Protect on my boy, Tyrantar. Here goes Quake. Again, he's special defense boosted. Yo, this is a good battle. This is a very good battle. Win or lose. Very great battle here. Got on special defense gonna boost and your special defense gonna boost. Only if the yawns carried over. Only if the yawns carried over. But we're gonna change up the weather now. Give me my weather. Dude, Storm Drink Gastron coming in the back end, man. Uh, he's just gonna keep special defense boost in here. I wish I did rock protect. Wish I did. Uh, I mean, Lash Out should be able to take it out. Look at that stab boost. I shall should be able to take you out. Um, hmm. I mean, I'll double up in the ground on just in case. This Tyranitar is a bit faster. We'll double up in the ground on. This one's going to be real close. He might be rocking free stride as well. Uh, well, that shot comes out first. But can we take you out with this? That would be lovely. We do not. It's a good thing we did double up. Rock side is going to come in here. Who's dodging it? Who's dodging it? Lapras dodges it. Which is good. Resin's going to come out here. And it turns to a 2v1. Which is going to turn into a 1v1 after he, uh, after he goes into a Max Quake onto my Tyrantar. So he's going to be plus 2 on Special Defense. We do have Freeze Try rocking out here. And, oh, this one's going to be real close. He's probably rocking Recover as well. Oh, Tyrantar survives. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do I taunt it? That's the real question. Do I taunt this thing? How with this with this with survive. But no, I think I gotta get off as much damage as I can. So I think I might just pop out into a superpower. Hmm. I think superpower is gonna come out here. I'm gonna do try to do as much damage as I can. And then I guess we'll resonance. Resonance is our best bet. Considering he has storm drain and we do not want to give him the attack boost. Superpower's gonna come out here. That's as much damage as we can do. <laughs> that is that is about it. That is about it here. Resonance coming out here. Maybe I should have lashed out in case he wasn't going to uh, KO me. And we do have Freeze Dry, which is going to work out pretty nice for us. And Quick's going to come in here, and I think he's going to take on my target, I'll tell you, right? Yeah. Alright, 1v1. He's plus 3 on special defense. I should have taunted it. Not even going to lie, because probably Rock and Recover, and this one's going to be just a slow, drawn-out battle. Now, that thing's Shell Belled. Shell Belled. Bell full of shells. <laughs> this battle is this is going. This was a good final battle to actually end on. Which is dope. Win or lose. I think he's just gonna stall me out and pick up the win. Unless maybe we get some crits, something along those lines, but those special defense boosts were huge. 
Oh, honestly. Beast Ride coming out here. Wait a minute. Let's Paris home. Let's do it. Let's do it. Might be the last option. <laughs> this might be the last option. Eat this. Your tasty snack. This might be the last option. Hold up. Wait a minute. Protect. Let's slow this match down a little bit. Who dies first? That's the real question. How does this match go? Did I screw myself over? But I feel like this was our last option here. Who dies first? Who dies first? I don't know. This was like my last my last bet here. Like I, I don't know like how this works. Do I win after this? This one's gonna be super close. Free strike coming out here. Get it. How much damage are we doing on this thing? Oh, we could have won this one. Oh, wait. We don't need, We didn't even need the parasol. We could have won this one. All right. We won. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> we won. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> All right. I was thinking. I was like, parasol is our last bet. Did I lose this one for me? Hold up. If he protects here, did, did I lose this one for me? Oh, he didn't protect. All right. We win. GG's. But, yo, someone let me know in the comment section down below. If that Parish timer would have ran out, who would have won that match? Would I would have won, or would I have died first and lost the match for ourselves? That's my real question. That is how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. 3-0, a perfect record with this Trick Room Necrozma team. We played it perfectly in all three battles and dominated all around. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.